everyone, and welcome to episode 40 of the Improv Gaming Gamescast here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. Welcome to this monumental episode. I like the passion. Jesus Christ. Where the hell did you come from? If you didn't know, <laughs> I'm joined with my two business partners. <laughs> First, to my right, he only has the best ponytail in the business. Oh, is it me? That's <laughs> 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 fabulous. <laughs> Mister, I'm not paying attention, Mr. Nicholas. How's it going tonight, everybody? Beautiful. And to my left, he's only the biggest Zelda fan in the world. Don't believe me, he has the tattoo of the Triforce on his right arm. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Jeremy Bird. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Biggest Zelda fan in the world, coming at you once again. Not good enough? You want, you want more intense? And I'm Pete! <laughs> and what I'm wondering, because oh. I'm always wondering, oh. starting on episode two of the Improv Gaming Gamescast. YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. What do you do when you're sick? I ride it out. You don't do anything? You no. just stay in bed? I ride it out. That's it. I generally, when I get sick, I still go to work. I still, mm -hmm. I still do whatever I need to do. Um, but it's when just I get an home, inconvenience? Yeah, essentially. You know, unless I'm, like, deathly sick and I'm puking and I can't even fucking operate. Things are coming out of both ends. Yeah. When that's yeah. happening, then then generally I'll just lay in bed and write it out. I won't even take anything for it. Hmm. But but if I'm not feeling well, that's that's different. I'll go to work and I'll still do whatever I need to do. Uh, stuff around the house. But I'll rest a little more than I usually do. See, I'm, I'm similar to you where, like, I haven't been feeling good the last couple of days. And I've been resting, but I've also been trying to, like keep my mind off of it, still going out, you know, still not pushing myself as much as I would, but still trying to go about it, you know. But like I said, it depends on the sickness. If it's really that bad where I can't physically move, then I'm not I'm not going anywhere and yeah, just um, bed is where I'm going. If it's like a minor cold for me, I just take a little more vitamin C, I take some emergency and just I still go to work, whatever. Like you guys said, if my fever goes above like 101, forget it. I take two shots of fucking Jameson, I drink a six-pack, and I fucking kill the germs that way and pa and Yeah, by asleep. alcohol. That, that's a great way. I actually did that once. I had a really nasty cold for a week and a half. Couldn't get rid of it. I drank a 12-pack by myself. I woke up the next day with a bitch and a half hangover again. I could actually breathe the next day. Fuck you, science, and thank you. Now, has anybody ever heard of Terraflu? Yes. Thermo is it Theraflu? Theraflu. Is it Theraflu? Yes. You said Theraflu. I was <laughs> like, what's Theraflu? That sounds that sounds like a very dangerous virus. <laughs> I, use that, I use that shit. It's the Theraflu. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. If I you use... thought H1N1 was bad, get ready for Just the Theraflu. Just wait. That's the stuff you put in the tea, right? Yes. Yeah, that's... I have no idea. Somebody yeah, at I... work told me to do it today, and I yeah. was like, I used that, okay. Yeah, I used I that shit last it. year when I had a fever, and it wouldn't work. It tastes like crap. It tastes awful. But does it work? Yeah, it does work. So I should probably look into that yeah. in the next couple Do you of have days. a flu? I don't know what the fuck I have. Why are you here if you're you sick? You fucking asshole. You son of a bitch. I'm not you're sick. You're gonna get everybody sick, you son of a bitch. I'm not sick. <laughs> you don't go to work when you're sick, Pete. What you else would we record? <laughs> oh, goddammit. Aha. Uh -huh. If you didn't know, this is the greatest video game games cast of all time. It is better than all the worlds of Mushroom Kingdom, Albion, and all past, present, and future of the Assassin's Creed series. We're three friends that talk about video games every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we honor you with Let's Plays every Tuesday and Thursday. And special, from time to time, Let's Plays, uh, and Twitches, which, big announcement, stay till the end of the episode, you do want to, I have a big Twitch announcement coming up. Uh -oh. We're also bringing you the biggest news in gaming, brought to you by Mr. Jeremy Bird, in our 1UP News series. And, and, you know, if that sounds good to you, and why not, hit that subscribe button, share our beautiful faces <laughs> and beautiful ponytails with all your friends. Now, on to the topic at hand. Like I said, our first episode ever of the Improv Gaming Gamescast was all about Nintendo. So we figured for the 40th episode, we have to return to Nintendo and talk about how X is going to give it to them come E3. That's N's going to give it to you. We went through this already. The NX, <laughs> you're both wrong. <laughs> How the NX is gonna give it to you? So it's all about that NX in part one of our three part. Yeah, episode. It's, it's interesting from what we've seen come out with like the specs and what I've been told like with the graphics thing, like the supporting the graphics and the controller. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say I have they have to show something at E3 because they keep saying oh it's gonna come out it's gonna come out and then you see all these just random images. I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, the NX has to be 
powerful. Yep. Beyond comparison. It has to be comparable. It has to be on the levels of PlayStation 4 graphics, or it has to be beyond that. That's what one of the things they said they were going to do, is really go with the um, best smart chip, the best megahertz for like processing power. And they were just going to go all out with the graphics. They, so. they also need a controller. A real controller. With two thumbsticks, triggers, and buttons. Not touchpad <laughs> buttons, buttons. Yeah, I think I think one of the biggest issues that they're gonna face is that that touchscreen controller that they're that that is proposed to be their controller. Um, I think a lot of people were confused when the Wii Nunchuck came out, and they didn't know how to really operate it. So if you go, f I mean, that had physical buttons. Yeah. Um, you got the classic Nintendo feel with the one part of the Nunchuck. Which felt good, right? Yeah. The stick. Well, if you yeah. turned it sideways, yeah, you, you, had, you, you had, had that hate, classic had NES. I hated that. NES. I hated turning that thing sideways. But it was the classic NES in a yeah, way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much all it was. Was the two buttons, a start, a select, and uh, and your directional. Pad. I like the what was it the um, classic controller that you could buy to hook it up to. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Yeah, that that was like Super Nintendo style right there. That I didn't mind. That was good. I do like the um we the Wii U Pro controller. Yeah, I that was about to bring that up. That amazing. is a controller they should be really investing in. Yeah, I mean yeah. it had everything that you would want from a controller. It looked very sleek, very nice. I just think that this touchscreen idea on your on your controller is just number one. The touchscreen is gonna get dirty. So like wait, your phone and everything else is gonna smudge. And yeah, it's gonna I smudge. Hate so that it's shit. gonna it's gonna become something that has to be. Consistently maintained. I and mean, when you ask anybody if they clean their PlayStations, I doubt that they do. You ask anybody if they clean their Xbox Ones, I doubt that they really clean them. Mm -hmm. So why are you going to put something that I have to clean con constantly? I do Clark swipe my um, controllers when my niece and nephew are over because of the sticky hands thing that they do. But other than that, I really don't clean my controllers. But so I couldn't even tell you when I clean my gamepad. Yeah. So So the next time that somebody has to... Or the next release that you have, it's gonna number one, it's gonna be a screen that can break. So suddenly you're making a risk factor at people that like to throw their controllers up against the walls, <laughs> um, and and just dirtiness. Like you have kids using this. Like this yeah. is this is your your whole your whole premise for for your audience is basically childlike games. And no offense to anybody that plays them. I don't mean to offend anybody that plays them. They are good games, and they are genuinely good games. But they're geared towards children, and children are messy. Yep. They are disgusting and messy, and they will mess everything up. And suddenly you'll have like a, a fucking a coating of Chef Boyardee spaghetti sauce over your new controller yep. screen that, that that's a, a, a display for... Your button, so it becomes very difficult other, in that sense. The other problem I have is like with the screen itself, it's supposed like from what I've seen from the pictures, it's supposed to be smaller than the gamepad screen. It's supposed yes. to be like it's supposed to be like this, literally roughly it's supposed to be like this big. Yeah, maybe. it's supposed and to I'm be like, about the size of, like, of the like of the nunchuck. Yeah, like look if you're gonna like say this is it and you have the touch screen like that, like what the hell am I supposed to look at a tiny screen like that? Come on, if I'm gonna do this, like literally. Sorry, Pete, I'll borrow this. Wait, if you made it like this big? All right, well, we're talking in business. I can see what I'm doing versus, like, my phone, where I'm like, yep. I'm just like, come on, guys. It's, it's a, they're, they're going to have to really reevaluate what it is that they're doing with the controller. Because um, I don't think it's... The controller, to me, a lot of times makes the console. Yes. Because when I was between PS4 and Xbox One, I had a 360, I had a PS4, I had both friends... Go into each one. So I was like, whichever one I go with, I said, in the end, it's got to be the controller. And the first time I picked up this PlayStation 4 oh controller, my God. Yeah. I was like, I am in love. That actually is the best example because, like, I know Nintendo is innovative and they change their controller every single time. You look at the evolutions of the controllers, Nintendo's always done a different controller every single time. Like from two buttons yep. to four buttons to, like, six to eight to, like... Um, the nunchuck to the fucking gamepad. While PlayStation's always been consistent, literally, I know the old saying is, "If it ain't broke, don't fix it." But that's yeah, but a way. That's a way to actually fucking improve it. I yeah, would take the DualShock. They add the touchpad. They add yeah. the push. Yeah. Pu like uh, like they've always up. added features yep. to their controllers, right? So, so the first PlayStation controller didn't have the analog sticks. No. Yeah. Right. Which the second PlayStation did. controller had analog sticks, but this wasn't PlayStation Two. This was PlayStation One still. Yep. The so DualShock. now. 
they 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 did a dual. No, no, no. This was before the dual. Shock. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. This was before the dual stock. They added a controller that had analog sticks. When they went over to PlayStation Two, that's when they added the dual shock capability. Yep. Then they went over to PlayStation Three and they added wireless, yep. which is one of the best things. Which is ever. the greatest thing ever. And then they went over to PlayStation Four and they added a touchpad. So they always add something to their yeah. controller, but they don't Keep ever stay away from that. Yeah. That pivotal design that yep, is worked exactly. so well. Here's the thing. I will say this. The PlayStation 3 controller versus the PlayStation 4, that is the most fucking comfortable controller in history, in my opinion. Yeah, that's... Literally, the 3 versus 4. Like, I play on, on my 3, on the PlayStation 3. The controller's comfortable, but it's not as. Like, it's, it's smooth. Yeah. Like, it's a smooth controller. Whatever this, the little grips on it, perfect. Game, the controller doesn't slip. You can grip it, whatever. Same thing with the Xbox. I mean, they went Thanks. through... <laughs> through stuff, but, like... That's the thing. When I chose it, I liked the feeling and the the durability and everything of the controller, and that made me choose the PS4. I was like, they're both great games, you know? And Nintendo, if they come out with a great controller, their games are great games. Nobody says that Nintendo doesn't make great games. Yeah, nobody's saying that Nintendo doesn't make great games. The problem so, is getting that, those great games to as many people as yep. possible. Yeah. And Nintendo has a problem with getting those great case, games to as many people Case important about the possible. controller. When the Wii U came out... You had, um, you, when you came out, the um, Smash Bros. came out, what returned? The best-selling Nintendo controller in history, the GameCube controller, as a fighting peripheral. I love playing on that fucking controller. Literally, when that game came out, that con controller came out, it flew off shelves. It was very hard to get mm -hmm. with the, um, what was it, the, wow, oh, what the fuck is the word? The connector thing? I can't remember what it's called. The adapter, sorry, the GameCube adapter. Oh, the, yeah. For the, the Wii U, yep, yeah. I know Two other things to find when that system came out, and I hate playing on the fucking gamepad. Well, oh, just well, for... When just we for, have our best of seven, we'll both have games. Just for Smash Brothers. Oh, you're going down, bitch. Oh, <laughs> but no, like, Nintendo definitely needs. Now, my other question to you gentlemen is this. You have a 500 gig Xbox, a 500 gig PlayStation, now one terabyte. Do you think we see a one terabyte NX as the kickoff? No. Nah. No, I think they're no. going to go around 500. Make it I don't think they're going to do anything like that. Here's the problem, right? Um, their, their business practice when it comes to the NX, as far as I can tell, is using all the NXs in a vicinity to, to upgrade the graphics. So they're already thinking, how can we reduce costs and boost price, right? So they're already thinking, how can we reduce costs and boost profits? So putting in a terabyte uh, hard drive, probably not going to happen. They're they're already on the bandwagon of reducing cost. Mm -hmm. They don't want it to cost them more than it has to. Yeah, but they they really should. I mean, this no, is No, no, I agree chance. with you. They should, but I doubt that they're going to have a terabyte. I doubt that it's ever I I doubt that it, I doubt that it's going to be 500 gigs. <sighs> Interesting. When do you guys think then the NX will make its official appearance? I'm going to say fall. Oh well, yeah, they 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 already said they're gonna officially. No, but we actually see it for the first time. Yeah, they said that they're gonna actually show everybody what it looks like in E three, right? That's when they said they're gonna actually show everybody what it looks like. You might get some leaks before then, um, but you're gonna you're gonna get some. You're gonna definitely see what it is at E three. I think Nintendo's always been a person of the uh, a company of their word when it came to uh, most stuff like that. Yeah. And and generally, if they say they're gonna show it at a certain time, then they're gonna show it. I don't think it's going to be ready for retail by this year. I, I still adamantly don't believe uh, that's that. That's where we're going to disagree forever. I adamantly don't believe that I it's going to be ready will, for I retail. I think it will be. I think they're going to get it out by the holidays. I don't know. It's going to be interesting what the NX does. I mean, depending on how, if it's a hybrid, if it's a mobile, uh, not mobile, but handheld slash console, it's, if it's going to be more powerful than the PS4, I mean, not going into too much into our second topic, but... This is Nintendo's last chance for the console. Yes. Say what you will. Yeah. They have money in the bank, but this is their last chance for a console. They have to hit out of the park, and Nintendo knows that, and Microsoft and Sony know that. So they're in the back of their minds of Sony and Microsoft saying, if freaking Nintendo for E3 hits it out with this NX, which we'll get into more in topic two, but if they hit it, that will be all that people talk about at that E3. They will be like what Bethesda did for us this past year. I mean, it's Nintendo. You mean what <laughs> PlayStation did for everybody this this past year? No, for us when we oh, for us specifically when, when you Bethesda mean, came and announced, I said they will steal the show, and for us, yeah, for us, 
Yeah. Nick ever admits it, but uh, you know, I know that Nintendo was a runner up. <laughs> but they, they they had, and if, uh, if we'll get into it in topic two, make sure you stay for Jay's topic two on Wednesday. Nice. But um, any last thoughts on the NX? On the NX, um, I think that Nintendo might be making some wrong decisions already. I think that if they really want a console that's going to blow everybody else out of the water and bring Nintendo back into the arena. They have to make a top of the line console. It has to be a powerhouse by itself. It can't rely on interconnectivity. It can't. Yeah. Most parents don't want their five year olds on the internet. So, how exactly is this going to be a powerhouse? How is it going to blow everybody else's graphics out of the water if it can't connect to the internet? If parents intrinsically don't want people on the internet? I don't know. I just feel like. Uh, Nintendo might be approaching it the wrong way already. Well, I was going to say on that topic, it definitely is going to get the Nintendo network to where you can actually play with your friends online. And with you know, voice I, chat. We can, oh, that actually be pretty fucking cool. What yeah. I'm more interested in, other than just the... What's, what, what makes a console is my question to you, Jim. What makes a console? Not just the console itself, but the games to back it up. Yep. I'm wondering, not to get into the next subject, but I'm wondering what the launch titles are going to be. Because we've always talked about what's yep. what the cons what's the console going to look NX like? has to have an look? amazing launch title. Yeah, they they have to. And I'd say drop Mario or Zelda, make that the launch title. Bring out the next big Mario game. Bring the next big Zelda game out. I have three games that they're going to drop. I'm sure they're going to drop. Yeah, which one? On, well, Did do you, you want to know, Nick? Uh, yeah. Yes. Stay tuned for Wednesday's episode <laughs> on youtubecom slash gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I've been teasing for the last two episodes. Something big's coming. I'm telling you right now, you're watching this on the week of the 18th, on Saturday the 23rd, live on Improv Cap at twitch.tv slash Improv Cap, I will be playing all of Gone Home. Really? Finally got its console release. Really? I have been at the... I cannot wait to play this game. I've heard amazing things. It's two hours. Guys, I will be streaming it live on Improv Cap Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Come and join with me. We're going to keep reminding you, so don't worry, even if you don't watch this one and you want to see about Nintendo. We'll keep reminding you. I'm very excited. I can't wait to play this game, guys. <laughs> I was between this and Life is Strange, and I've been between both games, and I think I'm going to do Gone Home. And I was like, you know what? No, me and the people will be doing Gone Home. So if you don't want the game spoiled for you, do not. Do not watch. But if you are curious and you want to live it with me, on the 23rd, and Cap on Twitch.tv. Twitch, yeah. Twitch.tv slash Cap. <laughs> Gone home. 8 p.m. Eastern time. And as always, we'll see you guys Wednesdays for Jeremy's episode. I lost my enthusiasm, but it's back. <laughs> like, subscribe to the video. Uh, find us on Facebook at Facebook at uh, Improv Gaming. Space between the two words. Just Instagram and Twitter at Improv underscore Gaming. Email us at ImprovGamers at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitch at IPGJBird, Improv Cap, Improv Cot. Each of us on Twitter at JimmyPoison450, Improv Pete, and Prof Cot. <laughs> also check us out on Tumblr, which is at JBird201. And follow the um, community on PlayStation Network. We are at Improv Gaming on PlayStation 4 on the community. We don't say that enough. We don't say. We don't. We gotta start saying. Is that a friend? You weren't friends. You know, you know us. Oh, know. that was you. Yeah, that's me. Who the fuck is this? That's me. I was like, he knows everybody I know, but who the fuck is this? That's me, jackass. Gotcha.